Perry Saturn is giving Greg Gamble. I, it's Brian Gamble. It's all the same. It don't matter. These videos are satiric reviews. You don't have to agree, but don't bitch about it. I'm the social injustice warrior V Infuso, and you guys remember way, way back when, when I first spoke about the in-ring incident with Perry Saturn? The incident in which he dropped a man on his head and neck and continued to pummel him after? I bet for those of you who've seen it, you, you'd think to yourselves, man, there's no way that he'd ever be trusted with guys not under company contract ever again. But you'd be wrong. You may also alternatively be thinking, there's no way any talent would be stupid enough, w w would be dim enough to duplicate that mistake in ring against Perry. And again, you'd be wrong. Because here we are just a few months after that incident with another. Here is young Brian Gamble. He's also a nobody in the context of this company. He's a job guy, brought in to make Perry look good. You know, just in case the Mike Bell performance didn't exactly do the job. Van Dam and Chris Jericho had a had a heck of a week as well because Chris Jericho right now to me is very vulnerable. Two seconds in and Perry's already pissed. And for good reason too. He just got one-upped by a guy who bought his gear off Elucha. WWF champion. Oh! And oh my goodness. That slap is pretty telling. That's not part of the match. That is a veteran putting a rookie in his place. <laughs> just slap right now, in my opinion. Certainly he now, you're going to notice something here pretty quickly, whether you're a wrestling fan or not. You can probably notice that Gamble, the young up-and-comer who isn't actually part of the company continually or at least constantly attempts to take the lead in this match. That's because Brian Gamble is a complete mark. It would appear that hiring a local guy wasn't the best call on WWE's part this time around. Because Brian Gamble being in his hometown and because he had family watching in the arena didn't want to look bad in front of them. Yeah, that's right. This no name this absolute nobody was delusional enough to believe losing to Perry Saturn, a WWE worker, would somehow discredit him. Despite the fact that that's exactly what he was hired to do. Brian Gamble was already believing his non-existent hype and buying into his bankrupt brand. There are some rumors that state that he actually went out of his way to alert his family in attendance that he was booked to win this match. Yes, the company hired some local indie nothing to come in and beat one of their own guys. Psh, flawless logic. Without losing the title, he escaped against the Big Show on SmackDown without losing that undisputed championship. Look at him not even selling Saturn's punches with a full impact. He's not bumping. He's not even leaving his feet. And he's recovering within milliseconds. Jericho can lose that title at any time. Well, I mean, I, I, I think... That's, that's part of Chris Jericho's game plan, in my opinion. First man ever to... Whoa! And again, this isn't part of the match. This is a legitimate tackle. He looked like he just Goldberg speared him. Beautiful duck. Oh, boy. Anything he can, just the champion. Well, if he doesn't lose the undisputed championship, certainly he'll never lose that. There you go. Good on you. If he doesn't go down, you take him down yourself. Look at him. He's not even leaving his feet. Not even attempting to leave his feet. He's just dancing around like he's in Mortal Kombat and he's waiting for Perry to finish him. See now, where I feel bad for Mike Bell, this guy has earned every bit of this ass beating. He's deliberately fucking up the match to put himself over and make himself look good. When he's not the one who's supposed to. Saturn's the one who's going to be there next week on TV. Not you. Your name will not be remembered past me making this video. What are you doing? I mean, only in wrestling could you find this kind of stupidity. You were hired to do a job. Do the damn job. You couldn't get hired as a plumber to change pipes and then show up and decide, you know what, I think this whole basement, I'm going to remodel it. That's not how it works. Do what you get paid for, you stupid fuck. 
I'm, I'm just watching this match, and the only thing I can think is that this guy clearly never wanted to work again. I mean, you get invited to the biggest company there is, and, and you make a fucking fool out of yourself. Absolutely off the chart. And so is Barry Saturn. Oh, that, that was a pretty good form tackle. Oh, he looked like Shaq Lambert. Right. Only I remember Chatter to the kid. No, you're very excited. Speaking of good form. Hurricanes, the alma mater. I certainly would not want to be Mr. Gale. He looks like a mini version of a Tommy Dream. Pay his dues, and he's doing it the hard way. Yes. With Barry Saturn. Head. Well, Barry Saturn, all big. But for some oh, stupid oh, reason. Oh, taking a beating. Yeah, he's Here's about to. He's going to get it. Is. Tap out, son. There it is. And certainly it's only a matter of time before you succumb, and there it is. And Perry forces this nothing to tap out, and again, he's too pissed to celebrate. And this time, I don't really blame him. And maybe it's just me, but I kind of feel like Brian Gamble got off really easy here. Like, by comparison, I feel like Mike Bell got the beating that Gamble deserved. You know? Let me know in the comments if you think Brian over here lucked out. It's a very vicious here on metal. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's so with that being said, I'm the Social Injustice Warrior V Infuso, and if you like the words that came out of my mouth hole and you too want to become a VTard, don't forget to like and subscribe. There's plenty more where this video came from. Follow me on Twitter because, hell, why not? It's not considered stalking if it's on the internet, am I right? And don't forget to join the Discord. I don't have anything catchy to add to that, but just, just, just join it. Just go, go do it. And if you have a free moment of time and a free dollar to spare, then head over to my Patreon, where for just one buck, you too could help keep this boat afloat. And if you don't have that dollar, but you do have a free moment of time, then hit the share button. It will help me out tremendously. Vitart, oh.